Let's try this. When everything is changing, and when everything's changing as fast as it is, we have two options. We can follow or we can lead. And today, with the launch of the Vector Institute and with the help of everyone in this room, Ontario is once again choosing to lead. Lead in the next great leap forward with technology, in the creation and attraction of the world's best talent. And I just met a couple of people who are working here and who uh, have come to Ontario and are in great demand around the world. And we're very glad you're here. And I'm pointing to some of the academics who have, uh, have come here. We're very glad you're here. We want to create new jobs. We want to create jobs with technologies like the ones that we witnessed uh, in the uh, displays here today. But we also want to make sure that Canadians that they see that the opportunities that are there through those technologies are important for, for them and for their children and for the generations to come. Well, it's obvious that most medical images will soon be interpreted by systems like this. In fact, you'll pretty soon, in a few years, you'll have an app on your cell phone and you just point it at a patch of skin and it'll tell you whether that's a cancer. It'll normally say, stop worrying, it isn't. It's obvious that we're going to get much better personal assistance and they're actually going to know a lot about us and know how to hold a conversation, which they're not very good at at present. And finally, it's obvious that any company with a lot of data that wants to predict things from its data is going to be able to do that much better using these networks, probably using networks running on the cloud.